Kate Middleton furious, Princess Eugenie stuns in $10 K gown on cover of Harper S. Bazaar Princess Eugenie has officially stepped out of the shadow cast by Kate Middleton and the Duchess of Cambridge must be sitting mad. Eugenie, wearing a stunning Alberta Ferretti gown that cost nearly $10,000, appears on the cover of Harper S. Bazaar September 2016 issue. Inside the pages of Harper S. Bazaar is an interview with Beatrice and the young royal talks about a day in the life of a princess. Eugenie sat down for the face-to-face -face at the York family home in Windsor Great Park. While Kate Middleton is frittering the day with inconsequential royal obligations, or trying to avoid them altogether, Eugenie is hard at work as an associate director for the contemporary art gallery Hauser & Worth in London. Exactly what does Princess Eugenie do all day long? What does a typical day include for the daughter of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson? Beatrice was quite detailed, but it is all quite boring really. At about 6.45 a.m. the princess wakes up, reads personal emails and hits the park to get in a workout for an hour. Or she hits an amazing, women-only gym called Grace Belgravia with her best friend. Blah, blah, blah Eugenie buys groceries and some fresh croissants at Waitros, goes home for a shower, usually will have a conversation of some sort with Sarah Ferguson or Jack. That is Eugenia's dog Jack, not boyfriend Jack Brooksbank. Eugenie then explains that she does her own makeup in the car on the way to work. What does Eugenie wear to the office? A dress and boots and recently the princess just started wearing high heels because they are just so grown up. Later Eugenie will lunch at Detox Kitchen which has the absolutely best food it is also very healthy. Hey, something Princess Eugenie and Kate Middleton have in common. The Duchess of Cambridge and Queen Elizabeth's granddaughter both are health food junkies. Of course. There are royal obligations that must be met and Eugenie leaves the offices of Hauser and Worth by 5 p.m. and her bosses are ever so accommodating.